How do you feel feel about the military and stuff like that? Now you've obviously related to the military and what you've been exposed to with it. It's more soldiering experience and yeah. the stuff that yeah. that soldiers go through, and and it's not just again, it's not just the physical aspect of things as well it's the mental side of things that even if you yourself aren't physically injured you might have been with someone who was and how you then carry that and it's a it's a different kind of wound and that that is something that I've got a bit more perspective on because that's the stuff that you can't see. Mm. There was a particularly poignant bit that you're involved in with the with the with the French lady and the and the child which really resonated with me because right. it, again it's a question of emotions because you will have gone from a situation where you're fighting for your life mm. to a situation where you had to be more compassionate yeah, you know, it's almost at the opposite end, and being able to switch emotions. How did you feel like that? Because that, that's a very real, modern thing that we face. I think it's, 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 it's confusing to be honest. I think like in trying to understand that and enact that, you know, in in the story, that it's, you know, the the same hands can kind of take take such yeah. care and then also be a part of such violence, you know, yeah. for for whatever reason in either direction, and it's just it's. I guess it's it's just perhaps true of life the way that something you know that you're kind of the middle point between actions or experiences or feelings that are so sort of polarized and I think you know that us as humans you know we have the capacity to feel all of those and it's just the environments that we're put in um, mm. that that bring those out and I guess I think the people you know Sam's talked about I think like this isn't a film about the First World War it's a film about human experience mm. but I think that people often look for war uh, or look to war as in films and in art and things because it's probably one of the, the, the sorts of arenas on earth where you where you get stretched most, mm. uh, most like emotionally and physically. It does stretch. It does stretch the emotions. And uh, you know, again, it was it was very poignant for me because it, it showed that family is affected by war either directly or in our case indirectly when we come home from the war. And of course, the families are then having to manage the consequences of experiences that I'd had, which is why Help for Heroes and charities like that are, are so crucial now to be able to provide that level of support. Yeah, I think, it's, I guess it's a shared awareness in terms of like, we would have, we've not been to war, but we have somewhat more of an insight through trying to understand the headspace and the mindset and mm. the circumstance of war. Exactly, I mean, I think that's why, you know, the, the, the charities are so brilliant is because it's the help that it, that it gives people, and that's, that's what George was saying, it's not only about the, the soldiers themselves, but the people outside the war back in, you know, in normal life, it's their family members as well that's also struggling. Um, but yeah, I mean, and that, that, that's the thing with my character, Blake, with the, with the whole brother thing, is that Blake has this brilliant um, personality to sort of laugh off and sort of make a joke of the situation, even though they're in the middle of a war zone. And I think that's a beautiful thing, and I think, you know, I think more people should be like that.